Okay, good job. Stan, we're taking you to starboard now. Okay. Okay, you said light SC, uh, ICC light heaters are back on. Roger, Dex. This is a good view looking down into Atlantis' cargo bay as uh, Stan Love uh, holds the solar experiment package as he's lifted uh, upwards uh, in relation to the orbiter. Stan Rex will be with you in a few minutes. No problem. Hey, Dex. Columbus module in view here on the uh, lower part of your screen okay. as uh, you can see Stan Love holding the solar experiment package uh, slowly approaching it at the end of the Canada Arm 2 being uh, operated by Leland Melvin, Melvin in the U.S. Laboratory uh, Destiny at the arms control position. Index the inhibits are in place for the pad. Fellow spacewalker Rex Walheim is uh, making his way up uh, toward the installation station. You can just see his uh, feet down toward the bottom of your screen. Oh, okay, good. All right, I just check. Didn't think so. Well, I was hoping you weren't that fast. And Stan, we're ramping up. Roger. And we're positioned and we're gonna set up for a single joint stand. Very good. Yep. Hi, friend. And here we go down uh, down in uh, relation to what you're seeing on your NASA television screen. This uh, position will be upwards in uh, typical orientation of the International Space Station, uh, enabling it to observe the sun for about 15 minutes during uh, each orbit. Dan, we start motion for a second to reconfigure. All right. Okay, we're almost there, Rex. And while you're doing that. Okay, we're ready. Love continuing to hold that uh, experiment package. Uh, Let's go. In the uh, zero gravity of low Earth orbit, that's uh, not as uh, difficult as it might look to those of us a company uh, accustomed to uh, to a one G environment. He basically. Uh, Good. avoids inducing any uh, momentum uh, to that uh, experiment package while he waits for the arrival of Rex Walheim. Stop motion. Okay, you're almost there. Let's see. Let me grab it's a clearance, Rex. We've got to get a clearance. Okay. And then what we need to do, uh, Dex, or uh, we want to go uh, straight uh, Nader. Is that going to help your clearances? Okay, we have the okay. clearance now. Okay, let's go straight, uh, straight uh, Nader, please, about uh, 10 centimeters. And Stan, try to keep it high in your envelope, and then we'll uh, have room to purchase it, putting it down, okay? Any motion, 10 centimeters Nader. Nader, please, yes. Okay, good motion. Continue. Continuing. Continue. Not got a hand on it, Stan, too, so good. Thank you. Love getting ready to drive uh, the first bolt to, to secure the solar experiment uh, to its position at the outboard end of the Columbus Laboratory. And three, two, one, stop. Stop motion. I can't tell if it's coming up a little bit here or not. Okay, I've got a green light, 9.1 foot pounds, 11.2 turns. The whole test is solid. Okay, when you drove, it came up a little bit in the back end. I assume Houston, that's about normal because the pins are driving through. If you got 11 turns, we know we're good, right? Checking. Happy with the torques and turns. Nice work, you guys. Excellent job, Thank you. Bailey. All right, great. Solar is installed. Good work, Jeff. Thank you. Good job, guys. Thanks, Leland. Great Thanks, job. Leland. Great, great, great driving, uh, Leo.
That solar installation uh, completes the first of uh, three major tasks scheduled for today's spacewalk. Thanks, Dan. Alright. Okay, Jack, you want to go up the fort for me? Yeah, for both of you, actually. Okay. Solar is mounted on a uh, device called a coarse pointing uh, device, a multi purpose system that uh, keeps it supported and uh, pointed toward a target. That gives the uh, capability of tracking the sun uh, as the spacecraft orbits for about 15 minutes per 90 minute orbit. The adjustable that Rex picked up, the payload bay for Sam and the camera. Okay. Okay, Stan, why don't you turn your helmet lights off for a sec? Okay. Raise my visor. Here's the Atlantis, uh, your go for solar survival heater activation. We copy, thanks. Beautiful. And we're back with live downlink uh, showing the uh, two spacewalking astronauts uh, working to uh, release uh, the control moment gyro that uh, failed back in October of 2006 and was uh, replaced uh, in uh, August of 2007 and mounted on this external storage platform, external storage platform number two. Stan Love remains on the Canada Arm 2 in an articulated portable foot restraint, uh, while Rex Waldheim is uh, on the other side of the arm. You see him in the uh, just about the center of your screen. Okay, let's see here. I stand here in a good position for removal. I sure am. Okay. Um, all GCA. Leland, you ready for GCA? And we are ready, Rex. Okay, Stan, let's just move it a little bit to get it out of soft dock, okay? First, okay. let's just kind of jiggle it. You've got it, you feel it? Yep. How's it feel? Like about 1,300 pounds. Okay, well, let's just move it back a tiny bit. Okay. Until it clears the guide pin. That's pretty good. Are you, are you comfortable there? Yes. Okay, Leo, let's go, uh, or Leo, let's go straight uh, nader about uh, two meters, please. And I two can... meters nader, drop it. Okay. And please make your ramp in very gradual. And uh, we promise, Stan. Thank you. Okay, forward edge up, edge up a little bit, Stan. Forward edge. Forward, there you go. That's right there. Starting motion. Okay, I'm going to let my hand off it here in a second, Stan. Okay. Okay, aft that down a little bit. You're doing great. Thank you. Good motion. Continue, Leo. Continue. How's it feel, Stan? Not bad. Good. It, it takes a long time to react when you put a uh, force on it. Though. Yeah, light forces. You're all there, buddy. Study motion in word. Thank you. Okay, that's my airlock safety tether. Is on my left C ring extender. Gate is closed. Hook is locked. Load strap looks good. And the uh, tether reel is unlocked. Hey, do me a favor, check that anchor hook for me. That's a great idea. Double check that. And the anchor hook gate is closed and it is locked. Hey, thanks for double check. Okay, good tethers. I see both of them. Right? And they're both uh, deconflicted. Spacewalking astronaut Stan Love, uh, just about over the payload bay of Atlantis. Uh